we're coding, we're starting. Hello, Makita, are you with us? Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to week three, and it's Monday. We're starting the week. Uh, we should have, like, you know, our energy should be that high. We should have a much energy, and we should expect, you know, good vibes. So let's start um, with the schedule. schedule i can go through the schedule of week three so we have a daily stand up which is this one then after that we have day one tutorial uh, uh challenge introduction i think uh something here let me check let me confirm yeah and technical challenge for week three has been issued that's announcement so in case I, I i forget yeah uh then after this tutorial we have community building session let's uh, attend this session guys then after community building session we will be having day one or your two introduction to notion then independent challenge work that's it for monday then tomorrow they'll stand up after they stand up we have a tutorial deep dive into notion and notion database notion tech, uh, taking and the project planning then after that community building session uh, then on Tuesday, we have day two uh, Q&A session with all tutors, like maybe in case you have questions or anything, any challenges. Then um, the next day, stand up as usual. The tutorial will be tutorial, a uh, type form and type form with Notion, community building session as usual. On that day, we are going to have two tutorials, tutorial two, which is going to be more career change introduction. Yeah. Then uh, on 2nd May, they will stand up as usual guest talk we're going to have a guest talk on wednesday community building session and then female only session on wednesday and then uh friday of i mean thursday that's Friday. then friday uh there is stand up as usual community building session uh q and a session with all tutors then independent challenge that's the schedule for all week yeah i think that's it uh for the schedule then uh maybe we can open the space to everyone Yeah, let's go ahead and start we are on monday and there's different technical maybe challenges or any other challenge and technical challenge that has been maybe uh like your set setback or something so let's go on and share we're just going to go around the table right and hear how was the progress how was last week are you hoping to start this week Yeah, let's share, let's share. Anyone? Any challenge, any problem, any setback? Yeah, and mainly we want to hear more about brokers, like if you have any broker maybe, any challenge, what problem are you facing maybe? Let's hear from people, you can raise up your hand. Yes, Givere. Uh, hi, good morning. Good morning. I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you, Givere. Yeah, so uh, thank you. So uh, last week was uh, really nice and educative, but I have one issue. I, I really have not mastered the art of uh, maybe coming out with a, like the best report uh, I would want to to create out of uh, google Luca studio so i'm just calling out anyone who who, who has mastered the art uh, to come up with very very uh, good reports on google Luca studio uh, who and who is willing uh, maybe to teach me something that we can organize a, a side meeting yeah, in our free time thank you okay so anyone willing to help uh, give it you can schedule a meeting with him I think either you can, you can use Slack maybe to find someone if you don't find here. 
anyone to help here but you can also uh, approach tutors there. You can also approach tutors that I think they will be willing to help you. Kechna Mazie. I don't know yes, if I pronounced uh, your name correctly. Yeah. You, uh, yes, uh, it's Kina. Oh, thanks. Uh, mine is, uh, I think I'm sharing the same uh, problem as uh, Kitere. Is that I mean? I uh, just wanted to say that I will be happy to to join if anyone is uh, is volunteering to 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 lend a hand and provide some help uh, in this regard. Otherwise, I enjoyed last week, but I still have uh, trouble figuring out how to uh, prepare uh, a presentation using uh, Lucas Studio. So I'm happy with the I mean doing. Things like the plotting, uh, doing the charts on Lucas Studio, and uh, but the trouble is with creating the report. Okay. Sorry for the challenge, but we we have tutors here. They can they can help on that. They they can shed more light on that. But if there's someone, maybe you can link up with you. Maybe solve the challenge. I think you, you can you can ask from also from Slack. People will be willing to help you, but here uh, I think we have AI with us. Do you hear the the challenge, AI? Um, yeah. Uh, is it on uh, the Google or in general on presenting your uh, results? Uh, can you be specific? I mean, Gitaria asked a different one, and uh, Mazia asked a different one. If it's different, we can uh, talk about it differently. Uh, if it's the same, I can maybe guide a general uh, thing. Um, a, a report for the for the reporting, you just need to follow the the challenge document. Uh, and one thing I noticed. Uh, is that uh, the interim submission and the final submission, uh, they are kind of different, but they, they have to be the same. Your final uh, presentation or submission is a follow up from your interim. It's it's one report, right? The, the interim report is just showing your progress up to Wednesday or up to the tasks that you are asked to perform. And it will follow up to the final submission. So uh, the submission is different. I mean, the links, but the content, it, it, it's, it, it has to have a flow uh, starting from the Wednesday. Uh, if you want to change your interim submission, of course, you can update it, uh, but still it has to be the uh that the final submission has to follow from the interim submission uh, yeah that's what i think thank you okay uh can i clarify on my challenge or yeah sure yes so minus to for, for i mean i can give an example like uh uh based on the data that uh, we're analyzing for trying to find the best uh, stock to invest in. So for instance, uh, if let's say uh, we look at one uh, financial indicator like uh, the net uh, income, let's say I want to uh, do the plots and compare the companies using some by charts or, or whatever, and I want to do that in Lucas Studio, let's say I'm focusing on just one financial indicator is my. And uh, so how do I go about doing that? And then just because uh, then we have the the Google Sheets, uh, I, I, I got the data from uh, Copilot and then I put it in Google Sheets and I can be able to analyze it there and uh, by doing the charts and stuff. And then from there, so do I do the, this is in uh, Lucas Studio or 
or do I just do the analysis and create a PDF, which is what I did because then uh, do I take the Google Sheets file and then do the analysis uh, in Lucas Studio, or I do the analysis in Google Sheets and then uh, create the reports. So that's my, my challenge. Uh, okay, that that's technical. Uh, so you can you can do the analysis on Google Sheet, right? And then you can use the studio to uh, create your uh, KPI indicators uh, as a visual, right? So maybe I will, you can contact me and then we can have uh, a meet and I will show you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. So, Givere, are you also uh, satisfied? Hello, hello. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. My issue is uh, maybe coming up with those graphs, and uh, yeah, I, I really have a lot of challenges. I'm not comfortable with uh, actually what I'm doing. Yeah? Okay, maybe you can schedule a call with. Uh, AI or maybe any tutor later yeah. it is like a lot of uh, questions or challenges yeah but sure. if if you maybe you feel maybe we can you can ask here it's still okay but even uh, maybe the others to, to to hear from it yeah okay let me schedule with AI then maybe I can talk about uh, about it maybe tomorrow yeah okay tomorrow All right. and that, eh? yeah sure thank you yeah yeah all right, that's good. Thank you. Uh, Samuel? Samuel Dribser? You you raised your hand. I can see you, you open queue. Yeah. Yeah. OK, thank you. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, I want to ask, like, uh, what is the passing markers for, for the weeks? Because I haven't seen the uh, results in the 10 Okay. You have it in the reason on the 10x. Yeah, I mean uh, like what is what is the passing mark for the for the week? Okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. Can you assist on that? Um yeah, so there is no uh a cut for passing field mark. Uh it depends on your performance relative to the others. So um, you you will see it soon on the uh, leaderboard. Uh, so let's just keep it that way. But you you have to know that there is no uh, like uh, 50 out of 100 or less than 50 uh, is a fail or a pass. There is no a uh, cutting mark for a passing fail. It's it, it's your performance, um, and yeah, uh, it, you 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 will you will you will work on improving from week to week, right? So you just focus on your tasks and try to accomplish as much as you can, and you'll be fine. Don't worry about the, the mark uh, or pass fail just get the, the skills and knowledge that you need from this training that's what i can say thank you all right thank you so much yeah yeah, yeah. uh any more questions more challenges any challenges setback from you people Okay, so how are you looking forward for this week? How are you looking forward for uh, week three? We're on Monday and we're starting the week today. So, how is it? How are you looking forward? Like, let's share. If there's no challenges and setback, that's really good. Then let's share, like, how are you looking forward to this week? You, you can share through the chat. Yes, zero file. Yes, how are you? Yes, you raise your hand. Yeah. 
Good morning. Good morning. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, I have uh, something here. Uh, I think uh, yeah, yeah says uh, final submission is. Uh, it depends on the interim submission. Yes, but uh, in this week, uh, we our document is separate. That means that for the final submission, we can't include the interim part. As I are uh, at our own instruction. Can I write? Um, okay. Uh, if that's the case, that that's fine. But um, what wh what's the report all about? Uh, you have a, a project objectives to attain, right? And yeah. when you submit your uh, a report it has to be complete right which means yeah. you have to present all the uh, tasks you have done uh, and the results you get starting from the beginning of the project which is from monday to friday uh, yeah maybe sometimes you might be asked to uh, report the first and then uh after the interim you might not need to include the the uh, previous works because they might be basic uh not important for the the final uh, presentation but throughout the 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 training uh you need to focus about the report as a whole when you submit your final submission the interim submission is just your um, uh, what you call it progress uh, up to uh, the up to Wednesday. That's the progress or uh, the tasks that you have done so far, right? So you continue doing that, and your final or uh, yeah, your final report or submission has to be complete. That that's what I want to say okay, so the, the the past is past just focus on the next or this week's challenge and you can do that uh, in that fashion or in that manner okay okay thank you yeah. thank you so much uh AIA. uh before sosten wanted to say something i had you said something but i didn't hear you do you have like a question or so you want to say something? No, it's not a question. I was more about I'm um, looking forward for for learning notion and adding it to my skills. You asked about what we are looking forward for this. Oh week. yeah. Oh thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's good. Yeah, and that's a very good skill for this uh era, by the way. So uh let's hear from Gichina, but before Gichina, there's yeah, there's a Questions in the chat box if you get. Okay, let me read them and then I will come back. All right. Yeah. So, as as he's reading the questions, uh, Gichina, I have you in open queue. Yes, uh, I want, just wanted to say that I'm looking forward uh, to this week and uh, learning more about. Uh, Notion and uh, uh, getting to improve uh, with uh, with it. Uh, I, I was uh, happy actually with last week uh, this challenge. Uh, uh, I, first, the first week it was uh, it was very challenging for me, and uh, last week I, I was happy. There was a lot of guidance on how to go about doing, and meaning you guided us in each and every step of the way. So we had some challenges there and there, but uh, the guidance was uh, was awesome. Uh, I was, I, I really enjoyed it. So I thank for that. Amazing, thank you. We're grateful and we look forward to being with you the rest of the weeks. Uh, uh, regarding the first question, I think I have answered that one. Uh, and 
Who was that? I think Karinzi. Um, the, the, the past days, uh, just focus on this week's challenge. And when you have time in the future, you can go back and uh, work on them. Uh, so if you are here, you have to focus on this week's challenge. That, that's the objective. Uh, when you have time, you can revisit back. Uh, and of course, is there anyone who can send me a link to show me the week to assignment? Um, yeah, as I said, just focus on week three. And then when you have time, you can go back to week one, week two. That you can do it later. I think these are the questions. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so after work, uh, Karenzi Queen and Abel, we're good, right? All right, I think everything is fine. So if there's no more question, maybe you can wrap up. Sunday, I mistakenly submitted task three for week three on week one. And how do I remove it? Hey, can, can you assist that? Um, okay, but weeks, task three for week three. Week three, we haven't even started. How did you get a link for week three? Or you mean week two? Uh, if I think that's you mean week two, yeah. Uh, yeah, if, if that's the case, uh, what you can do is you can reach out uh, Nat Nile uh, or someone in Tenex. I think uh, it's better to uh, reach out to Nat Nile so that maybe moving the uh, your work to week two will be possible yeah okay thank you i think that's really helpful uh rosalind you have a question or challenge you want something rosalind rosalind i can see your hand raise Oh, sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. Um, I think you've just answered my question as well. I was asking about the week two submission. Oh, okay. Amazing. Okay, do we have more questions, more challenges before we end today's stand up? Okay, any announcement from the, from the team, maybe? Then I now submit maybe that I've forgotten. I think uh, checking. Yeah, I think everything is fine. So let's join the first tutorial in a few minutes. I think it's going to be um, yeah, 9 a.m. UTC, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. UTC. So you can convert it in, in any time zone. Thank you so much for today. So um, let's wrap up. It was good having you. And have a good week ahead. You too. All right. Bye.